The idea was born in April 1987. The New York branch of Chevrolet wanted to do something very special for the 1988 model introduction shows. The CPC Linden Plant Management wanted to do something very special for their employees. The launch of the Corsica and Beretta car line had been one of the most successful launches of any product in General Motors. The two organizations pooled their resources and produced a week of activities that rivaled any auto show. Dealer shows would go on for three days and cover all 206 Chevrolet dealers in metropolitan New York, Connecticut, and New Jersey. A special day was set aside for Tri-State College editors. Finally, an employee appreciation day would say thanks to all the Linden employees for their successful efforts. The detailed planning involved many branch office personnel, Linden management, Linden employee involvement groups and retirees. Meeting this type of challenge, however, was nothing new to Linden in its long 50-year history. Materials for various displays in the fabulous Heartbeat Theater arrived in specially equipped trucks. All crates were numbered sequentially for control. This would be the first time ever that the Heartbeat Theater would be built and show scans shown in any manufacturing facility. The designated location for the construction was the fascia backup storage area, and production would continue without interruption. As the theater was being built, two huge tents were erected in the adjacent parking lots. These would house 80 displays of vehicles, vans, trucks, and cars from around the country. In addition, a huge refreshment tent was erected next to the plant. Construction of the theater and tents lasted approximately five days. Much of the artwork for the exhibits was done by our plant artists. Like magic, the theater began taking shape. It would seat 130 people. The show scan process, using a 70 millimeter camera system with stereophonic sound, creates an ongoing illusion of reality and breathtaking scenery. The theater would soon come alive with lights and sound. Hard to imagine that 20 feet away, the fascia sub-assembly area continued working as if nothing were different. Specialty vehicles began arriving early. Customized vehicles drew keen interest in their very bright colors. A specially constructed 30-foot high cold air balloon was constructed and illuminated the sky at night. A particular interest was the Chevrolet Keystone Crusher, brought in especially for this occasion. Lots of preparation was needed to get the Crusher in its prominent mode on top of a Ford pickup. The dealers began to arrive early on Monday. Owners of dealerships were guests the first day. Department managers and other key personnel were the guests on days two and three. Buses transported them to the beginning of the tour out at the back of the plant, with employee involvement group guides explaining what they were about to see. The tour route followed the same sequence as normal assembly. Specially prepared guidebooks key to numbered signs on various displays throughout the tour route helped the visitors understand the different processes that they were viewing. Employee involvement group personnel wearing red caps guided small groups of 20 people throughout the tour route. The response of employees and dealer personnel alike was very gratifying. The tour path was designed to give the dealers a thorough, comprehensive view of all the processes in an assembly plan. All in all, the dealer show was the most successful ever conducted by the New York branch. 1,400 dealer personnel attended during the week, which was nearly double that of their highest showing ever. They witnessed the very latest in state-of-the-art technology in the car assembly process. The interaction of dealer personnel and plant personnel really enhanced mutual understanding. The final day of the week, one of particular interest to plant personnel, was Employee Appreciation Day. In anticipation of huge numbers of crowds, normal employee parking areas were changed. In addition, Merkin Company, the pharmaceutical company adjacent to the plant, made their huge parking lots available at night. 
All parking areas for the visitors were located toward the rear of the plant where the tours began. The tour route itself was the same as the dealers, covering the body shop, General Assembly A and B. When the families and guests of the employees reached the Heartbeat Theater, a new experience lay before them. They were escorted into the theater, held onto their seats, and went through a ride rarely experienced. guests enjoy good old American hot dogs, apple pie, and ice cream, as well as soft drinks and thousands of apples brought in from the southern United States especially for this occasion. The Keystone Crusher, the clowns, the bands, the magicians, the fun-filled, exciting atmosphere that surrounded everyone made it a day that no one will ever forget. Over 13,000 employees, families, and friends shared in this wonderful celebration. The huge crowds and enthusiasm show just how much pride and excitement there is among car-making people. Truly a fitting tribute for a job well done. <laughs> 